Thank you all for tuning in to Breathing is Highly Dangerous. We are given our first breath, working toward and hoping for the next, all the while fearing our last. Welcome to the show. No. The event. A little bit more grand. The movement. That's better, I like that. The movement of the century. Well, movement, that may be a little bit much. How about a conquest to forbid the ones ignosable that try to impinge their iniquitous veracity to our thoughts? Look, man, do you want me to do this or not? Either way, I get paid. So I saw it. Go ahead. We've come to ask why, but never satisfied with a simple answer. Discovering the not-so-secret secrets, playing coy into the ploy, kicking every rock, smiling with joy. Here is your host, he puts the U in unusual, the P in pterodactyl. Not just why, he also asked how. If you suffer from... The hippopotamostros esquipedaliophobia. Please leave now. No one will believe you. I give you Emmanuel Manny Stewart. Thank you all, and welcome back to Breathing is Highly Dangerous. Today is going to be a fun episode. Uh, I'll have... Um, this one's going to be a little bit edited. So, you know, for to, to, to assist in, in making this more palatable to uh, an audience that, that might come here. Uh, I'm going to be having an interview sort of with uh, a, a gentleman that uh, I, I've met a few years back. He's a, a very talented individual. He's a, he's a singer, songwriter, sort of a rapper. I don't know if he would say that, we'll ask him. And dancer and actor. I met him uh, while he was marketing his, his music with, with an uh, associate who has, also does music. Um, uh, I'm very excited. It, I, I've, I've followed him since and, and the things he's doing is, is really, uh, I really admire. Uh, his, his ingenuity, his scrappiness. He he's taking a different route than most, right? And uh, his talent is 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 very underrated, and that's what I will say. And this is coming from me that doesn't necessarily like music from uh, the current generation. Uh, his music is within that, uh, but it's it's inspired, heavily inspired, and I find a lot. Uh, of 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 promise within his work and and he each project he he puts out is is getting better and better and this next one he's got out is uh he's got another album coming out the single from it is win and it's out right now on spotify beautiful honor and it's wonderful welcome james hooper to breathing is highly dangerous uh, yo manny yo we've got the man himself in the house hey, how you doing mate Good man, how have you been? Not bad at all. You've been a busy you you've been busy. <laughs> yes, man. I've been I've been hustling, <laughs> working always. Absolutely. Always elevating. That yes, is, sir. Is that your personal <laughs> brand? Yes. Yeah, yeah, revolving around my one of my first albums. You got a new album out. Yeah, or or coming out, coming out soon. You got a new single yeah. off the album out. Yes, yes, yeah. Is that the titular track? Uh, when is that the titular track or is it the album going to no. be? Out? Um, I'll go ahead and spoil the title. I don't mind it. Um, it's going to be Elevate Volume 2. Oh, man. It's, it's going to be a step up from the first Elevate. Essentially, um, the reason I'm calling it that is because I'll let you go and do the research because I don't want to spoil the release date just yet. That's but um, it's, it's going to be the two-year anniversary of Elevate when it originally dropped, which it dropped... Um, two years ago around May. Mm -hmm. um, so y'all can kind of guess when it's gonna be dropping this year. But um, yeah, essentially it's just the next level of James Hooper is the way I like to present it or think about it. Um, I'm diving into more of my hip hop rap driven um, side of the artistry compared to being so R&B driven like I usually am. So I'm just excited for people to hear this new sound, man. It's, it's really exciting. Absolutely. I, I heard that new song win that you've got out currently. Mm -hmm. I, it's really, and, and, and I, I told you this when, when we met, but I don't really know if you remember, but this is, I don't like current music. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's funny. I do remember that. Right. But that this, I really, there's something in there. You, mm -hmm. the, you've <laughs> transcended, you've, you've made me want to listen to your album. You've got me. Thank you, bro. You Thanks. did something. And, <laughs> and, and you've, you've got the mojo. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I tried to like, 
while I do like the current music in the way, like, for lack of a better term, new school music mm-hmm. kind of is, um, I resonate with it a lot more than I do classic music. Um, that's just my person. That's just me personally. There's nothing like no biases there. It's just what type of music I like compared to what I don't like as, as much. Right. Um, but yeah, I tried to do something a little bit different with this whole project because while I'm calling it a rap album and a rap driven album, which it heavily is, I'm trying to still have that R&B flair and flavor that I have in my old music. You know what I'm saying? To give it that signature James Hooper stamp, just as far mm-hmm. as R&B vocals and keeping those melodies and stuff in there. So it's, I feel like it has a little bit of a different appeal than uh, like, you know, like 100% rap driven record. It right. still has my R&B and pop flavor in that record, so. Because you still got to dance to it because you're a performer. It's got to be <laughs> something you can perform to, right? Right. <laughs> and yeah the music the vault is huge the vault is very crazy my album is one thing i'm gonna go ahead and spoil the track list it's 11 tracks um that's one thing but i got a whole vault of music with a lot of collabs and a lot of features at my disposal just you know waiting for the right time and strategically trying to release things so it's all on the way but yeah because i've I've seen i've seen your music videos and stuff and those things are on movies mm. <laughs> thank you those especially the the one with the rain i can't remember the title off the head take it but, back yeah yeah take it i there there was a there's a the ending of that video is one of the best things in in cinema like oh, i i like the way i really it's because i admire I, I admire camera work and 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 mm-hmm. and emotion the way like because it's basically your breakdown of the song so mm-hmm. you, you're getting all those those backing vocals and then and and then you got the uh the ad libs going on and then you got all these like it's all this confliction and <laughs> and but it's cohesive so it's like it, it embodies the, you the perfect the emotion perfectly of the song so uh, it's it's wonderful Shout out, man. I got to give a huge shout out to Flex, um, Will Flex Fernandez. He's my homie out in um, California that shot that video and he brought that to life. I really didn't have a vision. I don't really ever have a vision going into my videos. I have an idea of Mm -hmm. how I could see it looking like, but usually I'll trust the person directing the video. And he, every time I go out to California, he's like, bro, you ready to do another video? You want to work? And I always have to get my budget right. And I go out there and we'll shoot one and it always ends up phenomenal with him. But this one was very different. And the emotion behind that record, raw emotion, that whole project decisions, that was all coming from a real place at that time. And so I told him what it was about and, you know, like how I guess essentially those emotions came about. And he just drew up the storyboard and we shot that in a day and he edited it within um, probably like two, three weeks, man. And oh, man brought it together for me and that was all him that was literally him on that project there wasn't like a dp or like a gaffer or anybody that was that was him and his wife that helped me pull that together and one of his friends man see that is incredible because the best things come with the least resources because you got you gotta have ingenuity you just gotta make it work like make it happen have the will and then having you as a, a you know a seasoned talent as you are is just makes it a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> right? Yeah. And that, that's amazing. So coming from, from that album, from that record, mm-hmm. what is the, the, what was the inspiration bef- in, into this new album that you created? Well, without dwelling on it, um, what had primarily got me into like, or I guess what made me dip my foot in like water or, my foot in water but into the rap sound <laughs> made me kind of dip my toes in that and try it out was i had done unconditional that r&b four track r&b project with my homie tweak shout at him out in ohio he produced it for me the whole thing entirely it was great it came out phenomenal i love that project but as long as i've been doing music i've done r&b 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 while dipping into pop you know like kind of staying everywhere around that r&b genre mm-hmm. um i wanted to try something completely different and man, to be straight up, I'm tired of being slept on. I feel like I'm slept on. <laughs> I, I, I said like that I'm before you got on. on. I and, said it. And coming in like trying to come up in a place like Atlanta where the main scene is like trap, like 
I'm like, bro, like no one's listening to it. Like a dude singing, you know what I'm saying? It's really hard to like put R&B in the light. I feel like it deserves, like it's different when you're on, but when you're trying to come up with R&B, it's a little bit like, it's hard. It's hard to get people's attention because people want to hear that heavy 808 just knocking. So I try to cross over with that, but um, yeah, like anyway, I'm rambling, but um, at the beginning of the year, or roughly the end of last year, December into January, I was like getting beats from Tweak and I was just kind of tired of doing R&B and I wanted to try something different. I wasn't working on music as much. So I was like, you know what? Let me just find something, throw a rap to it. And that's essentially how the new project came about. I was like, yo, I actually can do this. Like, cause I surprised yeah. myself when I started like, you know, just chopping up with the bars and spin them out and stuff like that. And I was like, yo, I can actually like essentially keep up with the trap sound that Atlanta kind of promotes. So I don't know, it's kind of to get my eye or get people's eyes on me out here, but um, it's nothing too serious. Of course it can't, it comes with that James Hooper, like emotional flavor, mm-hmm. you know, R&B signature that I have in all my music, as far as like the feelings and the stories, they're still authentic um, in this album. They're going to be a lot more authentic because it was kind of the most recent, you know, experience with the relationship I was going through and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was a way to like vent out or vent that like intensity that I was trying to put in all my other music, but with a whole different genre. So, you know, coming with the punches with the rap. So I'm excited it's, for people to hear. It's going to be a lot more, a lot more pressure with this project. It's like going from new edition to uh, Belle Biv DeVoe. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's going to. I just, I, I mean, the the wavelength that you're on right now, having that realization of let me switch up what I'm doing mm-hmm. to find success in doing this way so I can find success further in the future. Like, you're just utilizing what is there to your advantage, right? Mm-hmm. This, if you stay consistent on this path, this, there's, you're going to be astronomically high up there. <laughs> Thank and, you, man. And your talent is already the, uh, and I don't say this, mm, I, I say it to people that I care about and that <laughs> I see talent in, right? There's no reason you shouldn't be getting the awards that uh, these other less talented produced people should be getting. Like, I, I, feel you. <laughs> I agree. That's just, it's just a realness thing. There's more authenticity, but I mean, the world is getting consumed with, inauthenticity of right of what they want to be but cannot be realistically without a machine that's manufacturing inauthenticity right (laughs) so they want to be something that is you cannot be Mm -hmm. like it's 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 amazing and and not to say that not to say that the aren't a lot of talented people out there but i feel like the route you're going you're gonna stay authentic and not necessarily because i i wouldn't say even i can't even say sell out because that's Mm. the wrong word it's taking advantage of opportunities because this is the method that people are listening to so in order to talk to these people you need to speak their language Mm -hmm. preach exactly (laughs) Like I see the cross right there. So I already know where the mindset is. Man, and that's all I was just about to say. I'm like, bro, like I trust, I trust like, cause I'm big in my faith. I'm like, man, I trust God's perfect timing for things. You know what I'm saying? Like Mm -hmm. I've always had this conversation with my homies and my friends. I'm just like, yo, like the mindset I'm in now is like, I got to just be ready. You know what I'm saying? Like screw, like this is when my big break is going to be like, this is, Mm -hmm. this is, this this is the person that's going to put me on. It's like, nah, first off, I'm putting myself on. You know what I'm saying? Like I can put in the work. I'm going to get where I want to, whether that's going to be like in my image or in God's image, you know what I'm saying? Which one do you want it to be at the end of the day? I want it to be in his image. Absolutely. Everything that I've done from when I even started this to where it is now, it's like, there's no more proof that you need to know that it's a higher power. This, you know what I'm saying? Like putting me on the path that I am and taking me as far as I am. So I just trust at this point, you know what I'm saying? The industry is going to always be there. Music going to be there, whether it's the music industry or the streaming business as we're kind of moving into the streaming industry Mm -hmm. like i'm just gonna be ready when that moment hits but like as far as like what that's gonna look like i think i'm gonna be there before i recognize it if that makes sense right it's like like the thing where they say things happen overnight it's like Mm. i've been working 
And I've been, <laughs> I prepared myself for the opportunity that happens overnight. The opportunity right. presents itself in an instant. And if you're not prepared, you don't get it. If you are, then that's what happens. And, exactly. and I'm just saying, when you get up there, people are going to, people are going to, going to write on your name. And I'm going to be here to say, that's not James. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Thank you. We've got a, 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 an amazing future with the people that are, are living uh, with their purpose and, and doing that in a way that is going to help other people live in their purpose, right? Because mm. the, the things that you're doing, you're, the, the life that you're, you're leading is is going to be a guiding force for people to say hey i don't have to do these things in order to attain uh, uh, this measure of success right mm -hmm. i can have this trust and also be prepared and put in the work to attain these things right without mm -hmm. subjecting myself to the 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 temptations that would make the route easier if i wanted to do it this popular way and then fizzle out and have and do something without purpose, right? Right. We have, we're, we're thinking about purpose in the long run. So mm -hmm. how are people going to look back at us rather than how are people going to look us at us in an, in an instant, right? Mm -hmm. So do we want to be proud for ourselves and have people proud for us in this moment and have, you know, family and stuff proud for us in this moment? And then, because they're going to support, there's certain people that are going to support whatever you do, no matter what. But mm -hmm. ultimately, when you look back, is everything that you do gonna, you're gonna say, I'm glad I did it, or you're gonna have regrets about it. Right. Right, and they say, oh, and because another opportunity, like another path opens for like people down the line and say, oh, this could have, I could have done this. Ah, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Like, if right. you keep doing what you're doing, like you can create those new paths that open it for other people who say, oh, there's a new opportunity so they don't have to go the same route uh, uh, I did or struggle is hard, right? Exactly. Yeah, I, that's just something about life, but especially in the music industry that you see. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know, that there's people throughout time that have broken down certain barriers for people, mm -hmm. right? And then the people that went in through after them, right? They didn't try to break down any more barriers. They right. like, oh, I'm comfortable. Uh, I'm glad I got in. Uh, mm. I'm not trying to push any further, right? We're gonna make it work where it is. And then while, and, and now everyone's trying to get in behind them, there's nowhere mm. for them to go, right? It's oversaturated. Yeah. That's what the mm. industry is right now, it's oversaturated. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're gonna be one of those people that are gonna pierce through uh, and, and break barriers because of intentions that you have for the future and for the people coming up behind you, right? Mm. This is this is a quality I see in you and I know that you have, and I know you see in yourself and you're, 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 you're working on ways to do that. And, mm -hmm. and, and I admire that so much because that you're first trying to fix yourself, right? You're, you're fixing everything, you're fixing your heart, you're fixing your mind, you're fixing mm -hmm. relationships around you. And those things, that, that's the first thing you need, to, you, you need to fix before you can help anyone else. Cause you can't yeah. help other people if you yourself need to be helped in a certain yeah. way. So, and it's beautiful. I'm glad you see that. Bro. <laughs> You're right. You're right about all that. And I'm sitting here like, man, <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, is there anything, is there anything you want uh, people to know about um, uh, anything particular that any, any words of wisdom you have for people that you, that you want to get off your, off your mind, off your chest? Yes, you haven't been able to absolutely. Say and I pray that people take heed to it and actually listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Figure out what you want to do, run at it, but make sure your mind, your heart, and just your even physical, man. Like, shout out to Milo Miles. That's um currently my manager. Mm -hmm. Um, he had me read this book called The Alchemist, and he said, before you go into this, before we start moving forward, he's like, I want you to have your mind right your physical, your body, right. And your faith, like your spirit, your spirituality, right. Like with God, essentially just being mm -hmm. right with God. Cause then everything else is going to fall into play. And I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like people get so caught up in the way the world is like essentially the earth, like 
there's a lot that's great about it, but there's a lot of things that come with age and living and innocence. We start off with innocence when we're born and we go through this life and a lot of the time that gets taken away. And we have this perception of the direction as far as where we're supposed to be going in life and how we want to maneuver. And we, des we desensitize everything so much and like, you know, drown it out with what we feel is right that it almost like skews our whole depiction of what's actually right. And all I'm saying at the end of the day is you got a purpose. Everybody has a purpose. Mine, I believe strongly is music. And I believe God has put me here to influence people and inspire people through my music. Mm -hmm. But you just got to keep your eyes on him or else it's going to be hard to like, like, you know, really open up the doors you want and go where you want. And um, that's just a fact. I don't even know how another way to put it. Like I respect that's what it is. everyone's religions, but just as far as like my faith and what I believe, I'm like that man upstairs has the key to everything you want. All mm -hmm. he's asking you to do is keep your eyes on him and keep your eyes open to him. And you just keep putting in the work. So I'm, from here on out, I'm just going to keep putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? And I hope everybody else that sees this and hears this agrees and that they have, you know what I'm saying? Like feel empowered to keep going, but understand that they're not in it alone and that you will get where you go or you will get where you're, destined to go not even where you want to go where you're supposed to go mm -hmm. if you keep your face strong and keep working you'll end up everything plays out you know it's all written for you you know what i'm saying everybody's got their their destiny their story their plan their purpose and it'll come to fruition you just got to approach it the right way so right because you can't miss wise words <laughs> absolutely because the your destiny is written in pencil it can be erased if you don't make the right decision right. <laughs> absolutely right. i i agree with that wholeheartedly and, mm. and i mean that i i i mean i would this usually i have like some very expanse like the, what people say are gabbing or like mm. like rambling i uh -huh. do that on this thing so uh -huh. i mean we'll we'll we'll, we'll I hope we can do this again and then we'll talk yeah, about sure. these principles and, and, and how how people can implement those into their own lives. For sure. But, um, I think that's the perfect place to leave off with the, the perfect words of wisdom there from a, a man that is, is, is seeing successes and going to see more success and, and is, is a prepared man, a very prepared man. So mm -hmm. everyone watching, James Hooper is the name. <laughs> he he he's he's incredible and i appreciate your time today mate and 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 i look forward to you to your career and i look forward to seeing uh the the barriers you're going to break through and and break open for people and for yourself especially thank uh, you so much man well i greatly appreciate the opportunity and like i said i always love sharing especially being that i've been on a journey for so long and i'm not even where i see myself or where i want to be just little things that I don't know that that medium between like superstardom and you know the average person who's really still trying to make it. I'm like, okay, like let me pull from what I've seen and the things I've done, thinking that they're you know fairly accomplished or fairly big accomplishments, mm -hmm. and let me shovel it over here to you and let's do it together. You know what I'm saying? Let's <laughs> I'm gonna keep going this way. Let me pull you this way and let's end up there together. Exactly. I uh, that that's a perfect description, right? Because right? so it, that that's if we keep consistently together like once we have that relationship we just we're going together but we mm. can't get ahead of ourselves right. and, and it's a beautiful thing well it, it's just a consistency thing it's a intentional thing right and, and it's beauty of humanity and possibility <laughs> i'm telling you man <laughs> all right all right I, anything else uh, you want to share with everyone we got uh you you can say anything um, um for sure y'all stay up my album elevate volume two is on the way you can find all my music on youtube apple music spotify all streaming platforms essentially um james hooper is the artist name um my hashtag or my at for everything is um james hooper i i i for the third my full name james hooper the third um but um my social media is popping i'm mainly on instagram though but yeah right on all right thank you all thank you everyone for watching breathing is highly dangerous all those links to james social medias and 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 his uh the the music uh will be linked below and you all be blessed stay blessed and i will see you all in the next one awesome